talk a little bit about controlling ground squirrels, particularly Richardson ground squirrel and Colombian ground squirrel. We'll talk about some various traps that may be available for you that you may want to try out. These two traps are known as colloquially as conibear traps. It's conibear is really a trade name because it's from the inventor of conibear, but we call them conibear traps, sort of like the way Xerox machines used to be with used to be synonymous with copy machine. But there's different sizes. This is a 55. And this is a 110. You notice there's a slight difference. 55 is a little bit more narrow than it is wide. Now these are body gripping traps that are set as so. And they rely on the animal to crawl through the trap. and fire this trigger like that. Now I have a safety on here, otherwise this would have come down on my arm as such. That's how you're catching the ground squirrel. So you can actually set this directly over the burrow in what's known as a blind set where there's no bait at all. You simply rely on the animal moving through the hole on its own, hitting that trigger. Now how would you stabilize that trap? You would simply take a stake such as this, angle it down through here, and then just sort of anchor it in place. And place that directly over the hole. And you could also put the ring on there as well, so you'd have something like this. And that's all there is to it. Trapping is very efficient for small acreages, probably less than five, so if you needed a toxic-free control. But just remember that whatever's coming through that hole is going to get whacked with this particular trap, and so there's no going back. So always make sure you're keeping children and pets away just, in term, just to be safe. Now, there's no real attractant to the hole other than the hole itself. There's no bait that you're going to be using, but there's always the risk of using this, but it's certainly going to be probably less of a risk than if you're using a toxicant, for example. So it's another tool in your toolbox. You would set the 110 conibear the same way. Now what's interesting, even though the 55 conibear is smaller, it tends to be a little bit more expensive, and the reason is, is that the 110 is so much more common. Now you can set the trap this way or this way, depending on your preference. But the reality, and you can also adjust the trigger wires and bend them as you need to. They're, they're bendable there. It just takes a little bit, of, take, probably takes some pliers to bend them. So give it, a, give it a try, and I would set it so that the trigger side is facing into the hole rather than outside. So if we have our hole in front of me here, you'd want to set it so that the trigger side is facing the hole. And that's just to, just for a safety and so it requires, if an animal's coming from the outside, it requires a greater commitment for it to go through. And that's basically, give it a shot and see how that works, works for you. There's also another device in the market. This particular trap is made in Canada. It costs about $20 postpaid each if you buy a dozen. And the advantage of this particular trap is, it's a self-contained, you would set it into the burrow such as this so that the ground squirrel, the Richardson ground squirrel, would come out of the burrow this way. And so it has an, an, a neat way of checking it because if once the trap fires, you can look at it from a distance and if you see the blue sticker that you put on, you can see whether it's sprung or not. Otherwise, it's a, again, it's another blind set trap and it is a lethal trap, it's also its own stake. You just simply pl pl clamp it down over the burrow and the Richardson ground squirrel comes out and gets killed with it. It's a bit small for the Colombian ground squirrel, so we don't recommend, the manufacturer in fact, doesn't recommend this trap for the Colombian. But if you have smaller Colombians, maybe you're trapping them earlier before they get too mature, it will work, but generally speaking, it's not recommended because the Colombian is just a little bit too big for this particular trap. Though it's, this is expensive compared to others, it does have some neat features in terms of its efficiency that you can use in your own field. There are some other traps available. Here we have the DK, I think this is called the DK2. 
kind of a go-forgetter trap. Now this is a trap that you would bait. It uses a choker, choker bar. And this one is missing. <laughs> the trigger has been broken off. So let me put that aside and just go to this. These are the same design, but this is designed in a way so you actually can catch potentially two. You would cut your little wire up here, put your bait in the middle, and then you would set both ends. Well, uh, both traps are set and you'll notice if you look carefully at the trigger bar, you don't even, the animals, the ground squirrel is just going to come through, so hit that bar and then get struck by the trigger, by the, uh, choker bar. And that would be the same case on both ends and the bait would be in the middle. Something for you to try out. You just take two of these traps and just have this little modification and add some hardware cloth to it. It's another option for you when you're looking to control ground squirrels.